Hi, I'm going to talk to you about how to set time limits when you're in guided access on your iPad. So the first thing you do, we're going to go into settings. I do have a video that shows how to enable guided access. This one is specifically for time limits. So we're going to go on the left hand side to accessibility. We're going to scroll down again to guided access and you can see that we get turned it on previously. Now you're going to see time limits here. So let's select that and you'll see there are two things that you can pick from. These are alarms that will sound approximately 30 seconds before the iPad kind of locks down and shuts down into guided access. So they could be working and then you're going to say let's work for five minutes or whatever it is and then you can set a time limit. So this first part really is about the notification that the students will get before it actually locks down on them. There's a lot to pick from here, so we'll go ahead and pick one. It's You probably won't hear the notification because I am doing a screen recording. So you can, again, I suggest that you play with these so you can listen to the one you think would be most appropriate for your student. And then the speak, this just gives you a verbal prompt that there are 30 seconds left before guided access time will be up. So now that's the first part. So that's how you kind of set the notifications. Now let's really go into guided access. I'm going to take you into pages here. I'm going to triple click to get us into guided access. When you triple click again to exit, this is when you can get into some of those options. So you'll see down at the bottom options, lower left. We do want to touch time limit here. This is where you can select minutes, hours, but we're going to go down to one minute. I have set a, a speech notification and a sound notification, and I want you to kind of see what this will do when we're in. So let's go ahead and resume. 29 seconds remaining. And this is where you would have also gotten the sound alert to go. We'll wait to show you what it looks like when guided access time limit has been reached. Guided access time has ended. So in order to get out of that and what it will do, so we'll just triple click, put the code in. So at that point, when that comes up, the student won't be able to do anything even inside of that app. That's if you're setting time limits for the kids, work for this long, et cetera. They would have to come to you as the teacher and hand you the iPad to turn um, that off. So that is how you turn on time limits in guided access. Now, one other thing I want to show you back in, if you maybe saw this in the settings piece, if you go under accessibility and guided access, you'll see this display auto lock. This means something completely different than the time limits. This really, and this is kind of nice, this wasn't always here. This will allow you to set, just like you do in your display and brightness, when you want um, the when you want your iPad to kind of go to sleep. So if the students aren't using it when they're in guided access, before it would just stay on, it would burn a lot of batteries. Now it does give you a choice of to set that um, limit for when it will kind of go to sleep for them. So you can select, you can say never again, or and all they have to do is tap it and it will wake it up within guided access. So that's, that's something that's different and uh, is really kind of nice. That way you're not burning as much battery if they aren't using it. Let's say they go out to PE or art or something and don't have it with them. It's just sitting on their de desk. It will go to sleep for them. So that is how you set time limits and that is how you look at the display out of luck. Thanks for watching.